Hi, welcome to Measure Marketer. My name is Prashant and I would be your chief instructor here. In this video, we will talk about what happens behind the scenes when somebody implements A by B testing. When we talk about A by B testing, there are two things that come to our head. One is the A by B testing that we run on our marketing campaigns, ad platforms. One is the A by B testing that we perform on our website. When we talk about A by B testing on our ads, yes, Google ads and Facebook ads provide you amazing A by B testing capabilities. You can test your ad copy, you can test your creative, you can test your targeting to understand what copy is working, what creatives are working together. But how about doing A by B testing on our landing page? We run so many ads, we drive people to our website, but why do we treat everybody same? Why do we treat everybody equal? Why is it that we show same copy, same content, same image, everything same to everybody who visits our website? Why can't we do A by B testing? To answer this, there's so many A by B testing servers, A by B testing tools available in the market. Whether it be Google Optimize, Optimizely, VWO, doesn't really matter which op testing tool you use. The underlying principles when you implement A by B testing remain same. So in this video, we'll go through understanding the nuances and what happens behind the scenes when you implement A by B testing. But before we get into A by B testing, there's something that as we digital marketers need to understand how web servers and web browsers communicate with each other. Remember web servers and web browsers communicate with each other by sending HTTP request and HTTP response. When a browser wants to make a request, it makes an HTTP request to server and for every HTTP request made by the browser to a server, the server has to respond with an HTTP response. Now, when the web browser is making a request to web server, it sends something called HTTP request. Inside of the HTTP request, if you go through your uh, you know, console and go to network tab, you eventually see the browser is making an HTTP request. But if you go deeper into HTTP request, you'll see the endpoint where the request was made and how the request was made, whether it be get request or a post request and the endpoint to which the server is located. And when the server receives the request from the browser, it sends the code. You can see all of them in the console network section. I will show that while I take you through this video. You'll see the server is sending a lot of data and that data is packed in something called HTTP header response. In that header response, it has some data and it gives you a document. In fact, the server gives browser the code and the browser takes that code and interprets that code and gives it to us that we as users can see. Have you ever wondered when the server is giving the code, how is it that the website is uh, you know, appearing to our eyes that we can really see and read it. Why? Who is doing that work? That is where we talk about browsers. In the midst of the communication that's happening between the user and the server, as the user is requesting a lot of pages and the server is responding back to the user's request. Remember, there is something called as a browser. And browser is the center at which all these things are there. Remember, the server gives the response and the response comes in the form of a code. The browser's job is to interpret the code and render it so the users can really see and read that with our eyes. Remember, the tracking and the measurement sits here because it is the browser who tries to interpret the code. And when the browser reads that code, it now tries to make a request to something called as the testing server where we have set up our A by B testing. So remember, this is what happens behind the scene. When the user is making a request to a server, the server responds to the user's request by sending a bunch of code. And as the browser is starting to interpret that code, it comes across a new code called as a A by B testing script. And when browser encounters that code, it makes a request to testing server. And when it makes a request to testing server, it's going to ask a testing server, is there any A by B testing running? If it says yes, then it says, give me what variant? And when it gives the variant, it also gives the code changes that are supposed to be made. So browser can make those changes and render it to a user. So users can see either the control version or the variant version. And remember when you work on A by B testing, these A by B testing have native capabilities connected to any analytic tool. And these analytics tool will tell you whether the control or the variant is a winner. And thereby you can come to a conclusion that yes, whatever I wanted to try, I tried it and I now have the data and my data tells me that my variant is performing better than what I was using as an original. And this is how you perform A by B testing. And remember, I'm focusing on this testing server. Why? When the browser tries to interpret this code, it comes across a new code called testing code, right? In the same way, it also comes across a new code called Google Analytics code. 
and that is when now browser makes a request to Google Analytics it comes across another code called Facebook pixel code and that is how browser now makes a request to Facebook pixel servers and that is how all the requests are being made from the browser to all these endpoints whether it be your browser and server endpoint whether it be your analytics endpoint whether it be your Facebook endpoint and once you understand this that's when you can start your journey in something called a by b testing or something called measurement and I would see you in the next video with something more detailed Thank you so much and if you haven't subscribed to any of our YouTube uh, channels, please subscribe and, and please go through our videos. We put some amazing, amazing content and uh, see you in another video. Thank you so much.